Hello, hello, and welcome to episode three of our Project Architect 2 Mod Pack playthrough. Hope the day's going swell and well for you so far. As for me, well, I certainly can't complain. And so, without further ado, let's dive into another episode. <laughs> So yes, you'll probably notice that we do have some new armor on. This is going to be the uh, the Red Matter armor from Project E. And uh, just a little update in between this episode and last episode, there's been like three updates to the mod pack. Uh, most of which we're dealing with EMC values or fixing various smaller bugs um, and so on and so forth. Now, one of those EMC updates did end up breaking our magma farm from the last episode, so I don't recommend using that um, if you hadn't read the comments in the last video or if you just didn't happen to look and see the EMC value has changed from the 2000 whatever it was before down to, I don't know, I think it's like 32. <laughs> yeah, it's 32 for magma cream, so... Um, you know, just, just don't do that. It's not, it's not worth it anymore. Which, it didn't really make sense for it to be worth that much in the past. Anyways, considering four of these makes one of these, why would 128, you know. But, that being said, we did use it, and boy, did we exploit it. Um, because we got, we got a couple, honestly, probably a couple hundred million from it because we, we were able to make our red matter armor um i even have two of them gemmed up the boots and the chest and if you want to know how to make these you can just go to at project e Oop. and all of the stuff becomes really really easy to make once you get emc rolling in constantly at a good rate um, so here you see the red matter helmet is simply taking dark matter helmet and surrounding it in red matter and the dark matter is just making it out of dark matter. Same for all the rest. And then if you want to gem the stuff, you just go through and you combine it together. You add in a Klein Star Omega, one for each piece, which is kind of the most costly bit because this is 25 million. Um, and then of course, you know, the red matter is not cheap either. That's practically 500,000 for each one of those. So it, it ends up costing a lot of EMC, which is why I say you need a, a good automatic EMC farm, uh, uh, one where you're just sort of doing sugar cane, right? It's not gonna, probably not gonna cut it at least. It may, if you're, if you're really, really patient. I mean, hell, this one's, this has been stacking up for some time. I've not come over here. So let's see how much we get. We're at 144 million. 150 so i mean six million six million off that's not bad it's been running for i mean I'm, I'm i kid you not quite a while but this is our new setup here um and it's one that you guys had kind of recommended with the oceanographer which the sea lantern yeah i mean this is kind of ridiculous the stack emc is worth fourteen thousand, and it only costs two emeralds to trade in <clears throat> chosen if you're watching this don't change this please <laughs> I, I just got this farm set up just give me you know give it a, a a week or two and then i'll i'll be on my way now one problem you may see with this farm is the fact that the emerald production doesn't really keep up except for in one and i can't figure this out i cannot for the life of me figure out why it does it like that so I have this um, drawer here. It's it's kind of being round robined into, but it's also round robining out using an advanced pipe upgrade and then setting it to round robin. The reason I don't understand this is because each one of these is set to insert emeralds, right? Each one of these is set to extract emeralds in a round robin fashion and only one at a time. So it should be sending, whenever it makes emeralds from our trade here, should be sending one, 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 one. You know, you get the idea all the way through and down. However, it's obviously not the case if this guy's getting stacks and stacks and these guys are all completely empty. So not sure what's up with that. I tried using only pipes. It didn't work. I tried using only laser IO. It didn't work. So this is the combination that I found to be 
the most accurate. And of course, having the emeralds evenly distributed is what gives you a good amount and a good constant flow of um, sea lanterns. So the idea here is you're taking rice, which costs one EMC, right? So this total input here is 20 EMC for an emerald, which I believe is the cheapest. And obviously you can get cheaper if you, uh, if you go convert these guys, but that's, you do that on your own time, you know, taking it down further past 20 EMC is like, wow, what are we doing here? <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, 20 EMC for one emerald is like, I'm pretty sure that's the cheapest you can go right now. Um, and then those emeralds are being sent over. So we're paying basically 40 EMC to get 14,000. Um, so, you know, I, I don't know what that, what 40 to 14,000, what the exact gain is percent wise but i'm gonna say it's a it's a hefty number obviously we could keep up better with this if we add in more farmers over here but essentially we're limited by the speed right because one these guys run out two these guys go on cooldown so we're not really utilizing all of the rice that uh that we could here because we do have two energy condensers which have ample amounts of backup i think i put a couple of red matter blocks in here which is like 1.5 million and if each rice only cost one emc then you know that's 1.5 million rice that we have so uh you know they can run for quite some time now the reason that i decided to gem up the boots was so that we, we could have flight right create a flight without having to use swift wolves or having to feed it emc constantly we don't need anything to to power it so to speak um and the helmet is for night vision because i got tired of having to go sleep every you know 10 minutes or so so um yeah and the boots also make us really really fast if you're like man why are you moving so fast it's, it's the boots so yeah anyways um here is the the loop so we start here with rice we have rice that you can if you want to insert from this energy condenser um if we just put the card back in i've taken the card out so that way i could move it over here but if i wanted to refill the rice i could just move the card from here over to the east side and it'll send this in fill it up with red matter and then that should send it over to our laser nodes so rice starts off here in energy condenser we just put in something of super high value and then we're good to go for a long long time these nodes are extracting see as fast as they possibly can with our card overclockers um, that is what allows us to go up um, they're set to round robin but it doesn't really matter oh yes it does in this setup it does sorry i had i had another system i was using but i changed it because i figured this would be um simpler so these two are connected to this one now the reason for that is is because otherwise i would have to connect both of these to all of these as opposed to where now i can just connect this one to all of them and um, we'll use this method again in the future so again in laser io you can connect through one node into others and it sometimes can save you a lot of heartache and headache um, so yeah, they're extracting round robin, and then on all of these, we are inserting specifically rice. So insert rice. That's on all of these. Now you'll notice that they all have two green arrows, or two green lines rather. One of those is going to be the insert, one of those is going to be the extract, which is extracting emeralds round robin. And there's no real reason for this to be upgraded all the way. Honestly, you may not need to upgrade it at all at how slow this sort of thing goes. But I'd already made a lot of card overclockers, so, you know. Anyway, so rice goes in, emeralds come out. Should be at a round robin pace, but, uh, you know, that's yet to be seen. And then they're all linked up into this laser node, which is then linked up into all of these. And this is where I talk about this method of linking into one laser node so you don't have to link into each of them. Each of them individually becomes really helpful because now instead of having to take 
all nine of these and link it up to all 10, 10, 12, all 12 <laughs> of these, um, I can just link these 12 to this one and this one to these nine, and it functions the same, theoretically. <laughs> um, and then last but not least over here, north side, insert emeralds, extract sea lanterns. Again, doesn't have to be upgraded all the way. It might not need to be upgraded at all. I just like for things to go a little faster when it doesn't cost any additional resources. Like this is additional resources up front, not like extra energy burnt or extra emeralds cost or whatever. So yeah, and then those are just simply extracting into this laser node, which as you can see can be set up into the EMC link, which I'll get into, or into the energy condenser. Now, EMC link in project expansion. These things have had a bit of an overhaul since the last time I played with them. Some of you may have played with them in Stone Block 3. That's what I know it from. That was my first um, sort of interaction with these EMC links. And in that, I believe it was very strictly items. There was no import limit, export limit, yada yada fluid, EMC, like none of that was really a thing filter like it, it just didn't have all of it um basically what you did was you'd open the ui which i don't think there is a ui now yeah there's no there's no ui um <clears throat> sometimes we get slums that fall from above i'll explain that in a minute but just just ignore it and uh, bear with me Anyways, essentially what this EMC link does is it links itself to your personal EMC. So you'll notice in the top left corner, it says like 159 million. That's how much EMC I have. If I open up my tablet or my transmutation tablet, you can see I have 159 million. And again, that just comes from, well, now I'm just feeding it straight in, but previously... I would feed it into here, get a lot of red matter, and then dump all the red matter into our tablet. Now with the EMC link, I don't have to because this is directly connected to our EMC. So, um, do I have another EMC link on me? I don't think I do. Missing two covalence dust. It's just, um, well, I can't really send those in either. Hold on. You know, there, there's one problem with my system as of right now, and I'll explain it um, when we get to the relevant point of it. So it'll make more sense here in just a minute. So let's go ahead and craft one of these. I do have auto crafting being started up and all that. But again, we're, we're about to get into this stuff. So here's the basic EMC link. Mark 1, as you can see in the very tip middle, uh, MK1. This is Mark 5. So just looking at a couple of obvious differences, the EMC import limit is 16. So we can only put 16 EMC into this thing at once, which is not a lot. That's like... Less than a piece of coal, I think. Um, and this one has 1.04 million. So obviously it kind of upgrades drastically. Um, item export limit of 16. Item export limit of 1. Fluid export limit of 1,000, 16,000. So you can see as you increase the tiers, so to speak, um, the stats also increase. Now, what this actually means is... These things kind of act as a as an in-world physical access point to your EMC. So think of it the same way I open this transmutation tablet and I say, grab me out Adernalis fuel. You know what? No, grab me out dark matter. I was going to use Adernalis fuel, but it's like, why well, pick one that's super hard to say? Why not pick something a bit easier? <laughs> 
Um, so when I pull this dark matter out, it cost me 139,000 and that's pulling it from my 156 million, right? If it shift, you can see a lot goes out. Um, same thing with this EMC link. So take whatever you want to set the output to, put it in your hand and right click. And now I don't know if you can see when I hover it at the bottom underneath owner, it now says 1,125 dark matter. That's essentially telling you how many dark matter can be pulled from this block given how much EMC is in our system. So we have enough EMC to where if I wanted 1,100 dark matter, I could afford it. And if I left click, oh, if I shift left click, if I right click, if I right click, you can see we can draw some out. But if I'm trying to go too fast, you can see it says export limit has been reached. Please wait a second. And no matter what I do, I can only ever export one at a time. Oh, I, and if you hit shift on it, it'll, it clears it. So shift export item has been cleared. So be careful about that. But yeah, it can only go so fast because it's a Mark I. Um, that being said, can I put it back in here? Could if I was probably importing it. Just throw those in there. Um, so with this, there's an export hasn't been set. I don't really want to set an export on this. <laughs> I'll show you with uh with an upgraded one. So let's just take that one that I had. Probably went to my backpack. Yeah, it did. And let me see if I can upgrade it here on the spot. I can. Okay, so mark two, input, output, two items, 2,000, um, or rather two buckets as far as liquid goes, and 256 on EMC. Upgrade it again. And you can see here the recipe is the same every time. The only thing that changes is the materials on the side here and the fact that you need the one from the previous tier to make the next. So you need two red matter plus a tier two to make a tier three. Tier three, you need, or tier four, you need a tier three plus two magenta matter, which you can make using red matter. Of course, you can make red matter using dark matter. And so this just kind of continues to go up. Magenta goes into pink. Pink goes into purple. Purple goes into violet. Violet goes into blue. Blue to cyan, cyan to green, green to lime, lime to yellow, yellow to orange, orange to white, and I believe that is the final tier. Yeah. And at that point, you can import and export 8,000 items per second, um, 8.1 million millibuckets, and 72 quadrillion EMC. So, yeah, they can get pretty crazy with what all they can offer. But essentially, like I said, it gives you straight access to your MC. And as you saw with us being able to pull up dark matter there, it acts as an access point. So I can tell this block what to be as far as what's in here, right? It can be glowstone. And now it's holding 103 glowstone. It's just acting as a conduit for basically whatever kind of emc -able item or substance that I want or need. And then whenever I need to draw it out, you can see there, now we're drawing out um, four at a time. And the number four is now lit up. See item import limit, item export limit, four, four. So yeah, that's it. And break that. So that's our new EMC farm. Um, and again, one more time, we have auto traders here, thanks to Netherite. We went into the Nether. I'm sure you can see the big old portal over there. Once you have Creative Flight and Red Matter Armor, which blocks a lot of damage, and you have a Red Matter Sword, which kills... Well, I mean, let's just show you a little something, something. The zoom, I need to change keys for that. It just hasn't really annoyed me too much, so... <laughs> But essentially, you charge this thing up. If you press C while it's charged, it'll do a special attack and it'll actually kill most things in one hit in an AOE around you. So, yeah. And I'm guessing that villager wandered over from the village because 
Yeah, I don't know where it came from otherwise. Um, all that's done. We did get netherite, ancient debris rather, because you can't EMC netherite, but you can. Did I spell that right? Ancient? Is that wrong? Or just debris? I think I spelled it right, but hell, who knows? Maybe I swapped the I and the E. Any hoosers. Um, you can EMC ancient debris. It's only 12,000 as well, which is really not too shabby if you think about it. Um, so yeah, from there, we just kind of persisted on. You do, you do have to go to the nether to get netherite. I've not found another really viable way of doing it, so I'm sure there is something out there if you just absolutely don't want to, but... Anyways, um, ignore the melting chamber and the solidification chamber. These were for something that I thought I needed, but ended up not needing. And now let's move over to the other elephant. Well, let's do this. Sorry. Episode two, remember we weren't supposed to be, or rather this episode in the beginning, we weren't really supposed to be covering another EMC farm, but... I digress. We had to do it anyway, so we're kind of crammed for time in this episode. So I do apologize if I'm moving a little fast, but I just want to get through everything that I've done so you can follow in the footsteps if you need them or hopefully learn a tip or a trick about how I've done something. So for our power, we have the power mod and we're generating oh, about 100,000 FE per tick. This one's generating 93. And then we have, well, just a couple more over here generating various mounts, right? So we have a couple Niotics and one Spirited. Now, this is something that I go through a lot as far as mods go. I go through power a whole, a whole lot. I always recommend using the Thermo Generator. It generates the same amount of power as everything else. You don't have to worry about what time of day it is, how much fuel you have available. All you got to do is throw some lava underneath it and give it some water from something like a, I don't know, a sink that has infinite water. And then you're good to go. Um, now you'll notice that this isn't connected to any sinks. That's because I'm not really worried about slash using this power anymore. The highest one over here is 800 and then I think the rest of these are all 400s. Yeah, um, it's just, I don't know, it's just not worth it. <laughs> we're, we're making 90,000 over here, so to be like, well, let me make sure I'm squeezing the pulp out of this 800 one over here. I, I would rather just focus on making this one bigger, better, badder kind of thing. Now, when you first open this reactor, if you're like me, you're going to be like, whoa, four inputs, I'm out. Five, if you count the water, heck no, that's too much. You're doing too much. But in reality, the only thing you need to actually run this reactor is the uranite in the middle, which as you can see is EMCable. So that's really nice. You make one, you can have infinite. And the water, which I mean, thanks to the sink, you already have infinite. So you're good on that. You can literally get this thing running for nothing. You know, a thousand EMC gets you one and that'll get your first pilot hopefully done. It really doesn't burn through too much um, energy here. Anyways, <laughs> the point, the point of all this being is I think this is really good power. It's in most mods. So you'll see me using it a lot. I do apologize for the repetition, but I'm not going to apologize for the efficiency of something. And I think the power mod is very, very efficient, mostly because you can do a setup kind of like this and just kind of walk away from it. And it's going to continue to do its thing. So I can put, I mean, just as a basic example, let's do, let's do a diamond. So I can put a diamond in this bottom chest. And this is why I like laser IO so much. It really compacts stuff down. Um, it'll pull it up. It'll push it in. And then you saw these going away, energizing it. And now we have a niotic crystal. So if you want to do like, you know, fuck it, let's do a stack. You want to do like a stack of laser rods, you just throw all of them in there. 
And as you can see, it's actually going through this so fast that it looks a little crazy, but you can actually see them going in and out over here. It looks like it's just sort of glitching or lagging or catching some kind of bug. In reality, we're just going through them really fast. So the logistics here, we have one laser IO surrounded with a chest on the bottom, chest on the side, and the um, weird man on the pedestal. Right. This, this is the weird man. <laughs> um, so yeah, down we extract, right? This is where we pull from. All oh, right, emeralds aren't. I was like, let me use something different. Uh, let's just stick to diamonds. Um, so I'll put it in here. It extracts. There's no no need for anything to be on this minus um, some some card upgrades because you you just want it to pull stuff out, right? You just want it to pull stuff out as quickly as possible, really. So that's that's all it's doing. Then, however, if you look at the energizer, it's inserting, but it can only insert items that actually make sense. And it's a counting filter, so for something like iron and gold, you'll notice there's only one iron and one gold. Set, oh, wrong one. Set in here, right? That means that only one will pass into it. Same thing with the blaze powder having four. So let's see. Iron, gold. So even though I'm going to place in a stack of each, and generally if you were to try and hopper this in, the iron and gold would just continuously fill it up. Now you can see it's running through the recipe and it's filling it up and it's doing it so quickly that it really does look like sheer mayhem. But uh, yeah, there you go. It's already done. <laughs> right on. So just go through that process essentially and that is how you upgrade things. It's very um, cyclic because in every case of every machine and every piece basically, you start out with a starter and then you upgrade it into a basic and you typically have to use the starter in the recipe to get the basic. So you can see there. Um, I don't see anything there, but you, you get the point. It's all, it's all the same thing, like in circles and circles and circles. It's always hardened with energized steel, then blazing, then niotic, spirited, and nitro. So, um, if, if you can, you know, follow that along, you'll be all right. The reactor, how do you get uranite? You just put uranium or anything of that sort into the energizing orb. So here's uranite, 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 all good and fun. Uh, there's uranium. I was about to say, I was trying to find this to show you that you can actually get this from, well, basically itself, raw uranium is emc -able. so if you don't have uranite or you don't have the means of doing it but you found uranium hopefully that can be your little ticket in so there's our power done that is our new emc farm and again it's just taking rice having these guys traded out for emeralds and then having these guys traded out for let's see oh it's really hoping somebody had some in here. But yeah, trade it out for the sea lanterns at 14k. So all that's done. Now we're going to take a look at RF storage, which um, I decided to go with refined. Sorry, not RF storage. Refined storage because applied energistics is oftentimes the preferred one for mod pack devs. And rarely do I get to really play with refined storage. So in in my own sake, right? For the sake of doing what I want to do. Um, we're going to do refined storage. <laughs> Even though I think Applied Energistics 2 might be better slash is actually better in this mod pack just because of its integrations with um, EMC and Project 
E. But it'll be okay. Refined storage is going to carry us there. And whatever it lacks in capability, I'll make up for with uh, pizzazz, right? So, um, how do I how do I short shortcut this? <laughs> the cables connect your system together, just like in Applied Energy Six Two. Oh, excuse me. And, and your blocks are connected together just by touching one another. So here's the system coming up through. And this one has power and this one has power, even though they're not directly touching a cable. Um, so basically, it's just a controller to power your system because you do need a controller in this mod. I know in Applied Energistics, the controller is simply there to give you extra channels right and this you'll need the controller to actually power your stuff so you'll typically want uh like some some power <clears throat> obviously we have quite a bit with that hundred thousand being produced over there so we're not going to run out but yeah you, you don't need a decent little bit of power just to get this rocking and rolling so if you're trying to get it off the grounds early mayhaps you don't worry about it and you just you know keep everything in your transportation tablet um because really this is going to be your best chest early on if it can be emc throw it in here you can always come back and get it later on and then it's not clogging clogging then it's not clogging up any space right okay hold on okay sorry about that um so yeah and when an item cmc it will store it in your tablet so that way you don't have to store it elsewhere um, and do refine storage when you're comfortable to do it. One little tidbit I will tell you guys and gals that I typically do that um, makes virtually any Project E pack uh, more manageable is use your backpack to craft with. Because you have all of this extra space, right, to draw your stuff from instead of just having this little inventory space. So it makes making large numbers of stuff a lot easier and... Well, generally, the quicker you can make large numbers, the quicker you can make um, small numbers too, right? Now, um, the system... Oh, shit, did he just spawn up on me? Mining helmet. I'm not going to lie, you're selling some stuff that I don't have, but also stuff that I don't know that I'd care to have. Um... So yeah, the, the cables work the same as in Applied Energy 2. You just need them to connect to some piece of your equipment and then it'll all sort of register as being online. However, outside of that, it's very similar. Both mods are in the fact that you use disks to store items. The main difference is refined storage doesn't cap you at a certain number of types of items. It just caps you at how many items in total. So this one has... Uh, million basically we can store a million 24,000 um items in this one disc and we have one two three four eight slots available so this isn't even the highest disc so we could technically if we were to have eight of these we could store eight million items within our system uh, which is pretty nice the wireless crafting grid is using this wireless transmitter here to pick up a signal so we can actually fly around our base and still have access to the crafting grid. Um, and yeah, let's see. A couple other things I suppose is down here. We have a storage controller, which is, it should be, Hold on. Fuck. Um, link to all of these drawers. So all the ones on this side and all the ones on this side. Um, now the reason for that is, is a lot of these ingots are like, uh, smelt a lot of them at one time and then just kind of wanted to go into the system. But I don't want to dump, you know, 300, 900... 1800 like I don't I don't want to just keep dumping that many items into the card even if I do have a million items available 
to be dumped on a little bit, you know? So, refined storage, all the little, everything's the same. Um, we're using storage controller here, which you can, why don't I make two configuration tools? That's not right. Something, <laughs> something had to have happened because I, I know I had a linking tool and a configuration tool. I didn't have two configuration tools. That's what? I don't have one in, in my system, do I? I do. Okay. That makes more sense because then that just means that I made an extra configuration tool. Um, but yeah, so with the linking tool, if you shift right click onto the external storage, then you can see sort of the whole range that it can fit um, drawers within and still interact. So the one for this one is really tall. It's what? One, two, three, four, five tall. Okay, sorry. So um, yeah, th this thing can hold, you know, quite a few drawers in it because it can go however tall this is, which is like six, six, um, drawers huh um and yeah that's basically just a way to store items within your system without having them in your system because we actually have this connected up with an external storage with a priority set to one and that'll basically just mean that everything pulls out from here and goes in here um first and foremost before trying to go in and clog up our disks and now <laughs> um and as i was saying we can make a lot more of these discs a l um i was gonna say a lot faster now that we have the system up and going and this is the crafter that we're using for all of our crafting recipes there's it's it's not connected to anything you don't have to connect it to anything whenever it's just crafting um crafting grid recipes if that makes sense because i'm guessing this front kind of looks like in crafting grid is what it's um you know theoretically using to craft the items so if you were wondering earlier how does he have auto crafting already because in this mod it's not super hard to set up it's just a matter of literally throwing down a crafter and hooking it into the system with some patterns in it um and that's one thing that i really like about refined storage is well it's simple sometimes you don't need all that in a bag of potato chips for storage you just need something to say i don't have a million chests but i have a million items right um so yeah this this screen is literally just to show me a one-to-one -one of how much emc i kind of have i thought it'd be fun since rice only costs one emc i can sort of put it on display here and as it goes up so too will our um our personal emc as you can see over there um so yeah I think that's about it sorry i'm a little tired tonight so i might be a little um sleepy to say the least finally we have the external storage that is hooked up to these emc links this is where the import export um kind of comes into play so for these it has an item export limit of eight and an item import limit of zero of eight so we're not currently importing any items however if we take a look at the storage bus, it has a priority set of 10, which means it's the highest priority and it is always gonna try to throw items into hit first before we throw it into the disc or before we throw it into the storage drawers. Now, the problem with that arises in the fact that if I uh, say Mobius fuel, I wanna throw some Mobius fuel into our system here so I can make some kind of recipe. It's not gonna take whenever I just throw in one, one little piece at a time. They're going to get consumed so that way other no sorry um so yeah whenever you go to try to put in items basically they're going to get consumed by these emc links because that's essentially what you're telling it to you're telling it to import items into your personal emc which is nice if you actually are but you know sometimes you're like no i just i actually wanted to craft with that anyways um so these emc links you you set the item same as i showed you before it can export as many items as it says there, but it really, I mean, you can get all the items that you need from this and it even gives you a good tap on how many items you have. 
as you can see in here we have 175 million rice we have 5.4 million obsidian that we can make and so on and so forth and this just gives us instant access to as many as what we can possibly make given our current emc status um to make things a bit easier so you're not being like hold on so you're not being like oh i need four torches let me come in here and then i need a torch and then i need oh i need a dispenser so let me get a dispenser and then you know so it just makes it to where you can have all access to this stuff all the time which is really useful in crafting because then you go in there and you say hey i want to make you know redstone block which i already have some well we have plenty of redstone in the system 2.7 million so yeah we can afford that put it down let's go block all right so i think that's you know as clear as clear as i can get refined storage without going fully into it and without really trying to do a whole god on it Pretty sure we actually already have a god on refined storage somewhere back in the catalog. So if you're really, really interested, maybe go check that out. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll just continue on here. So you have these set up. Make sure you set your priority high. I have philosopher stone set on in the uh, filter list there. I actually don't want to open it because I don't want to put the philosopher's stone in here we use the philosopher's stone in a lot of recipes where the philosopher's stone stays and everything else around it changes but all right sorry um we keep having these little pauses in this episode i just want to say i appreciate y'all having patience with me it's um very much greatly appreciated so we've went through the old slash new emc setup we went through storage kind of I feel like I explained this in bits and pieces because I was I was kind of in and out um, during the you know actually trying to explain that and just have to be MIA. Anyways, and then we explained power, which we also have a player transmitter from power, which is transmitting energy to us, and it's linked using a binding card. I've talked about a lot of this stuff a lot here recently, so if I'm not going fully into a mod, just know that there's probably some decent resources out there. Or I truly believe that you can figure it out using the resources within the game. So for power, for power, they have a manual. And it's really cheap to make and it's pretty good at explaining everything you need. So if I don't explain something again and you have questions, place it down below. But we are going to continue on with what we need to do here. Um, one thing I actually did have a question about. 1792 all right so what i want to do is actually um i want to head to the end i think i don't think there's a is there a good bow that i'm missing perhaps no this is it this is all the bows there's the electric bow for mechanism the mecha bow um draconic evolution i think we're a little far away from that Rainbow cannon, rapid fire. Sounds really cool, but really gotta get into that stuff back into the melting chamber and all that. Maybe with the rainbow cannon. I'll tell you what, I'll save it. Save it to bookmarks. Somewhere. There it is, it's down at the bottom. Um but yeah, I think these are all the bows that we have so really not that good but that's okay because we can fly and we're just gonna we're just gonna hit the dragon and take them out that way we have auto eating on with some golden apples which do i need to know because it's already set over there oh well um which i mean i guess we could look for a better food but for saturation that, that's pretty good right so yeah, with the base doing the base stuff. Oh, um, and then up top we have a mob farm. I almost completely forgot about this. It's pretty simple. You take this GM chicken feed cursed, which you can make using bones, some um, 
buckets of experience, spider eye, gunpowder, rotten flesh, and then some kind of seeds of any kind. And you can get the buckets of experience by using something like this, an XP drain singularity tank from the same mod. So it's two eyes of enders, hopper, iron bar, and that'll get you your XP drain. That. There's that. Um, and then, yeah, basically just stand on it and it'll suck your XP out and it'll fill up the tank. And you can walk up here with the bucket and click to empty it. Um, now, this is going to be useful again later in the future. Not just for storing XP, but for um, for making some jelly babies, which I'll explain that when we get to it. Um, so, yeah, this is also a good way of repairing your tools if you still have mending on them. And that's sort of like how you're going through things. You just put mending on your tool. You throw some in this. You throw an XP tap on there, which I'm not really going to make one because I don't really care about the XP in these until, but until I do, you know what I mean? And then, and then I will. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say. Um, I don't know if these are bugged or what, but they've still not gone up from the Mobius fuel. So maybe, maybe it requires a higher tier or something. I don't know. But we're going to leave them. Leave them for the entirety of the playthrough if I have to. Um, we also have red matter furnaces. These are worth it if you're like, hey, Chance, are they better than an emerald furnace or an obsidian furnace or whatever? Whatever your doubts may be. The answer is yes. Yes, they are. Let's take some quartz. So I think this is what makes silicone, right? Yeah. Um, and just as a little demonstration... There you go. Look at how insanely quick that is. Same thing over here. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, the red matter furnace, as you can see, works extremely well if you're curious about whether or not it's um, worth it or not. So with all of that being said, I think now we can try to find the end portal. Let's get a lot of eyes of ender. We have a ton of food. We can always come back home. Going this way. Now we go pretty fast. So we're going to have to try and make sure we keep a bead on this thing. Toss another one whenever we get over into this foresty area. Went that way. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, it should all pretty much be basically a cake walk. The only thing I will say is I wish I had some better range, which I may I may adjust that. You know, we may may get a bow and may try for some enchantments on it, and we may may end up changing our minds after all. Okay, throw another one. Oh, did it go back? Wait, fuck! I can't tell if it's going down. Yeah, that one definitely went back. Um, are they going back or am I, did I just get turned around? going this way maybe it didn't go back <laughs> maybe it just turned and I turned too much I gotta stop firing them as I'm moving wait no these are definitely back. Where am I talking about here? Come on. 
You like keep sending me back and forth, but you're not you're not actually going down. Oh, is this it? Yeah, here it is. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna dig. Actually, do I have do I have my kind of like lens on me? If you want a good way of digging real quick, get one of these lenses. Maybe. Oh, I don't have any sword aim. see. I was like, why is this thing not working? Get some alternalis fuel. Now, get one of these bad boys. <laughs> I spy. Oh shit, are we already in here? I mean, I guess we do have... Um, This just doesn't look right. You know? That's a waste stone. Take that. And then it looks like there's gulp down there. Is this a whole skulk room? Is this what I'm actually looking for? Is this the... Is this the stronghold? <laughs> it's giving off kind of like updated stronghold vibes, but I, I'm just not sure. And it's just, we'll break your unique loot. I mean, it has like a dragon on here and everything. Seem like whoop. Hey. No need for hostilities. Ow. There's a spawner, I see that. Nothing this way. to this what the hell are those things just an enderman but it looks really creepy heard look off Oh, you know what? No, I probably just threw it back in here whenever I was doing this. Damn, we're already all filled up. You know, that is the thing with this, ain't it? <laughs> Drop that. Fill that up. I feel like I've been here before. I'm just looking for a portal. Something that looks like a portal room to me. Dun, 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 dun. No, that's just like not even, not even close. That's an abandoned mine shaft. Okay, so we have overlapping um, structures here. Never bodes well. Ow. Oh, nothing down here. Damn it. Uh, no, no, uh, no. Shit. I 
already established. That's a big no, huh? Oh. Something new ish. Oh, silverfish. No, oh, that's not new. We've definitely been here if there's a big hole in the wall. No. I really need to dump some of this stuff. Do I have? Advanced void man. Let's see. This is hopeless. I have way too many items here. Um, do I have a trash? I'm pretty sure I have a trash can. Trash. I don't want to filter. I just want to. So which way was I going? Nothing down. Fuck, there goes all that. <laughs> all that hard work. So check that way. Where does this go down to? Are you wearing a sombrero? I can't see. Holy fuck, what is this? <laughs> I still don't see a portal, just so we're all clear. Yeah, what the heck? What am I supposed to do with all this shit? <laughs> I really like this place, though. It's got, like, a, a ton of uh, character to it. Sorry, I'm being so silent, but it's... Uh... I'm discovering a new place for the first time, and it's really nice. Is there anything in this dragon head? There should be. If not, you you missed out. Frog light. Can I mine this without silk touch? Find out. Something tells me that was a no. Oh, enough of that. Diamond back here, but I'm not going to lie. We care literally zero about it now. Corundrum. I don't know what that is. Do I, do I need it? Do I care about it? Am I even able to pick it up?
cork. Grows alongside, blah, blah, blah. When left to grow, can redirect beacon beams. Check the beacon item for info. So no, it's not, not really worth anything. To me, at least. Um... So no, no even sign or hint of a, of a portal room. You got this dope throne, mobs spawning all around. Sure you don't want to put a portal room? This looks pretty something-ish. Yeah, it's, it's all right. So this is just an enchanting table, spruce bookshelf, spell books. We can always come back to this. I don't want to start looting whenever I have all this stuff that clearly needs to be thrown away. But yeah, some really cool stuff. Stuff to probably get us started into, um, looks like. A couple different mods here. All right, well, I'm out. Peace. Let's see. Is there a portal this way? Uh, this kind of looks like a blacksmith type area. Excuse me. What Where the fuck is this portal room? Surely it's not straight out the front door, right? That uh, certainly is the front door if I've ever seen one. Nothing over here. Nothing really over here. Ow, you're a motherfucker. Damn it. Where's the portal room? I just want to fly on through, destroy a dragon, and be on my way. Can't be that way. That's fucking the bottom of the world there. We already went that way. It's not behind the dragon. Not in the dragon. The fuck is this portal room? That's where I came down at. Yeah, I'm lost. I think it would be helpful if the, uh, the Oz vendor actually went to where they're supposed to go. You know what I mean? Like just just show me the portal room. It's going this way. Did we miss a floor? Stop. In the name of love. So this is definitely a floor that goes into that. None of this stuff is worthwhile in case you're like, chance, get all the stuff from the chest. I, I just, I mean, maybe some of the armor stuff, some of the like, you know, flawed solar gem, but there's so many of those that it, it doesn't matter. If they're really that good, we'll come back and get some. What's more important is the fact that I don't, I, 
I'm starting to question if this was even... <laughs> is this the, just an updated what's it called? Or did I get lured into some fanciful mod stuff? Oh shit. That's lava. What is that supposed to be? A trap? It's a trap. this way I'm pretty sure there's nothing else up here right like we're as we're as high up as you can go in this thing I think this way am I not even in the right spot this way this way. This son of a bitch is totally going down right here. Too many items. No, well, I had it right. Now I'm sending this. Oh goodness, pretty sure I just crashed my game. All those items going into the water. Oh no. <laughs> how we go out. Oh my goodness, look at all those particles. Can you see the lag? All right, we are finally back. But still no portal room. So um, we may just have to call it on this video and that may be something that I have to find off uh, off camera which really really sucks because i wanted to do it this episode if it all applies to the bull but i'm just not finding portal room no matter how uh how many rooms we blast through here This can't be it, right? No, this is where we were at before. Oh, with the big dragon room. This for sure is not it. <laughs> I'm just saying, you have a big dragon statue, you really expect to find the thing. I expect to find the thing. An elevator shaft like this, like... Come on, that's pretty intense. I heard you can take damage from those earthquakes. Up, down. Oh shit, yeah, it's an elevator. Absolutely nothing off of these rooms. Man, I'm so baffled by like where where in the fuck is the portal? You you blue balling me. You telling me there's no portal, and I know. There's just a random loot barrel on the side of the wall here. <laughs> Hold on. What is this? Do not enter. <laughs> you don't tell me what not to enter. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Oh shit. 
We got a couple of spawners. A couple lot of spawners. I don't want the water wheel. Uh, this this feels kind of portally. Ender watcher. Who watches the watcher? Me. Let me in. Knock knock. Yes. Yes. Oh shit. Do I need a shield? <laughs> Who the fuck is that? Network not fit. Yeah, that makes sense. We are We are a little bit away from home, huh? Okay, but well, this is no problem. I can still make a shield. Um let's just go diamond. Philosopher and log. And then what you do is you go philosopher, diamond, diamond to gold. Gold to iron. Oh, wait, hold on. Did that backwards. There we go. All right. Who are you, sir? Let's fucking go. Oh man. Sorry, language. I know it was it was not pretty. Alright. I I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and say I was <laughs> on my best behavior there, okay? But uh, things things were getting ugly. The oh, fuck did I have a forgotten hat? Just a forgotten hat. Why? Wow. <laughs> you know, it would really clog up this guy's inventory. Give him 18 million hats that he doesn't need. <laughs> what, are you doing? what are we doing here? Do I need any of this shit? No. Really, I should try and throw whatever I can into the transmutation tablet first. Oh, fuck. I always do that with the alternalis. And then whatever's left over, that we send it. So, yeah. Send everything out. Send whatever I can into here. And then whatever doesn't go in there, we send in. Okay. I'll roll it. Uh, wait. Well, a lot of that stuff could be converted. That's good. Yeah, so I should, should have been doing this earlier, but it's all right. It's a-okay. I uh, don't want to throw in the Oz of Enders because we're about to need those. All right. I think we are ready. I do want some kind of blocks. Use this cut tough. This stuff called cut tough. We'll use that. 
One, two, three, four, five. All right. And now due to fear of everything, I'm going to make a backup real quick. Alrighty, and we're back with the backed up, with the back, <laughs> with the backup having been backed up. Let's dive in. So, we. Oh goodness! Oh goodness! Oh my goodness! Make sure you can fly before you come here, ladies and gents. What is that, an in city already over there? Is the dragon this way or the other? Don't look down. Yeah, no shit. We're like, what? We're nowhere near the dragon. What is this? How do you. What? How do I. <laughs> Where's the dragon? Is it still at. If it's still at zero, then I need to go this way. Um, I'm not too worried because we can always hit slash home. So it's not like I have to go back the way I came in, right? Is this the way I came in? Kind of looks like it. What does that sound? Dong, dong. What would be ominous and creepy? Violet Cobalt Crystal. Nothing inside. Okay. What are these? What are those? Crying Obsidian. Holy moly. That's a fair amount of EMC. You can just come here and mine this. Oh shit, there's stuff inside here. Nothing really worthwhile, though, huh? Well, there's a lot of new stuff out here, I will say that. Um, I can believe that the dragon's that way. Big open uh, nothing mist. Probably the way. Cobalt crystal is emc -able. Yeah, 49,000 EMC off that crying obsidian, so if you... You happen to find a fair amount of that stuff, you're probably set. All right, well, let's head this way. Out into the open. Let's hope like hell we find something, because otherwise we're just blind, blind. Mm, getting close to zero. Well, there's definitely a structure in front of us. Okay, I feel better. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, goodness. Nope, definitely a structure. Um, okay, I mean, it looks kind of... Oh, gosh. E... Yeah, uh, maybe. It, it... Okay, definitely looks different. Oh, God. Kind of reminds me of the uh, hyperbolic time chamber. It's really loud. It's extremely loud. Okay. Um. Right on, bud. Do I have any kind of projectile I can throw at these things? I didn't really think about that. Oh, 
Hey, motherfucker. I'm trying to find some strings so I can do a bow. I don't know if I still have that log. Let's see. I have some wood. Pretty sure we have arrows at gmc -able. There's a bow. Whoa, that was a close one. Arrows? Yeah, there we go. All right, let's go take out all of these, um, these things. Ooh. This should honestly be a really easy fight. Oh, he says as he misses twice. Make sure I'm far enough away from these things that they're not really gonna hurt us. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were coming out here to try and get me, bubs. I'm gonna be what, like halfway around them? Oh, that was a good hit. So we. Oh, that was a good hit too. Oh, he's out there. We got what one, maybe two more. Is that it? No, nope, one more. Now that should be it, I think. All right, so we can start. Working on him. Where does he perch at, though, if that big-ass building's down there? And can I do more damage if I do my... Yeah, if I fly in close? Hold on, hold on. Key bonds. T C. Where the hell is Zoom at? I, I know this is linked to Zoom. So get out of here. And then what's what's the other thing? You don't have any configurable items in your inventory. So key C. Configurable items. There's so many C things. Run inventory and interaction upgrades. That sounds kind of like something. into perch oh this is so easy <laughs> come here bitch i mean nice lady dragon oh you, ooh, you know what almost almost messed up big time Oh, there's some. Okay, how much did we get? We got eight bottles. Let's go a little bit more. He's already... Dude, come on. You heard of eardrums? Okay, just because you're a freaking dragon who's being slain doesn't mean... You know, other, other people have feelings in their ears. Try and shoot me with some more, uh... What? You don't have any... Oh, goodness. What have I done? Shift. Shift C. Okay. I think that got rid of it. All right, can you shoot some more uh, purple flames, please? Oh, he just did. There it is. Ooh, 
what is what can we use this stuff in? And is it EMCable? It's EMCable. Really? So I can just It's only worth two AMC, but I mean whatever. Alright, cool. Where where are you at? We can finish this thing now. Didn't realize that was gonna be so easy. Where are you? It's still saying the same thing. Configurable items in your inventory. Look here. Tool config, was that it? Oh, no cycle trades can stay C. Alright, let's just hope that fixed it. Bye bye. Well, um, that's it. Mod pack's over. Goodbye, folks. <laughs> uh, let's dig on down in here and see. Okay. There we go. There it is. Of course, we all know how to get the egg, so let's do that. Dragon egg obtained. Um, yeah, cool. We have some in stone, we do. Let's go ahead and um, get that out and bricks, draconium dust, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, dragon tooth, dragon leg, raw dragon meat, miniature green heart, dragon heart. All right, well, let's send everything in that we can to learn. Okay. I think that's about it. And, uh, yeah, we got some dragon, dragon stuff, right? We got some in stone. Let me get a little bit more in stone. Just for the sake of having it. Or actually, you know what? We didn't even need to do that because it, it's trans transmutable. What about the dragon egg? The dragon egg's also transmutable? Well, right on. We just got a lot of really cool stuff. Um, Now, probably should... Yeah, okay, Enderman. Good luck catching me. We probably should go explore out here and like try to find in city and all that but i've already went way over time on this so ladies and gentlemen oh, wrong thing um ladies and gentlemen i want to say thank you for having joined me on today's episode episode three we took out the ender dragon we have red matter armor and a red matter sword and i mean i guess that's really all that matters at the end of the day right you saw how easy it was you know what you got to do just uh, just go do it Getting red matter is really just a matter of creating EMC, and creating EMC is really just a matter of time. Um, as far as the traders with the villagers go, uh, well, you know what? Let's let's do something wise. You want to do something wise? Let's go throw. Um, let's do, do we have some leaves? Yeah, not really. Okay, well, curse you, chance. <laughs> uh, are any slabs available? No? no, you don't do slabs, huh? I do slabs. Do we have? Do I have my building gadget on me? Alright, so what we'll do is we'll do that. The bottom block. Now, if I build this out, it does build it out the way I want it. Awesome. Alright. Let's do this. And then we will just give ourselves a waystone to get back here. 
there and now we can even go home Ooh, that's a little bit of lag but yeah all right ladies and gentlemen thanks you for our, thanks thanks you thanks you specifically you right there i see you with the blue shirt on <laughs> thank you for having joined me here today like if you did enjoy the video comment if you happen to have learned anything or have anything to teach subscribe if you're new to the channel and you want to see more awesome content from yours truly and as per the usual share this out with friends family and strangers down the street um, i do hope you all stay safe stay awesome and stay crafting until next time you beautiful beautiful people peace out